Hello, this is Brian Knutson, advisor with Cutler Investment Group, and I'm here to talk about uh, shorting stocks for a three-minute money mile. What does shorting stocks mean? I'm going to sell the shares before I buy them. How do I do that? I borrow those shares from another owner, and I take those shares, and I'm going to say it's stock ABC at $100. And I say ABC is not worth $100. I know that. I believe that strongly. It is worth less. I think that company, that company stock is overvalued, Okay, well, instead of waiting for the stock to go down in, in value and then buying it then, instead what I'm going to say is my potential to make money here is to sell the shares at the overvalued price and buy them back at a lower price in the future. So my upside here is for the stock to do the inverse of what most people want. I want that stock to drop in value. Okay, then my upside is to make the difference between selling it at, let's say, 100 and buying it down at 60 or some number like that. That's my profit. What's the flip side? What's the, the risk exposure here? The risk exposure is unlimited. If I sell those shares at $100 and I wake up tomorrow and it's 200 and 300 and 500 and 1,000, which you know that's extreme, but we've certainly seen it happen with very specific stocks, especially ones that many people believe are overvalued. It's only as overvalued as what someone's willing to pay for it. If that stock keeps going up in value, my, uh, my risk exposure keeps going up with it. Let's put a number on it. I sell those shares at 100. I have to then buy them back at some point. I say, I can't take this anymore, but it gets to 500 and I have to buy them back. I've made a $400 per share loss. Well, everyone else that owns it long has gained, I've lost. Okay, that's what I need to think about. What can I do instead of shorting stock as another possibility for a stock that I think is overvalued? I can use put options and my buying a put option means I have the right to sell a stock at a fixed price, a predetermined price on a predetermined date. I have to buy a contract between myself and a seller, right? It's going to be for the end of October at 110. Okay. Well, all I need in that case then is for the price to not be as high as 110 and it will make sense for me to exercise that option. My downside in that case is if it doesn't reach the price I want it to, the option expires. Okay, so my loss potential is much more contained. My upside is also more contained because the chances of a stock like that dropping all the way to zero or you know extremely dropping, probably not there, but I can make some money off of downside, all right, off of a stock being overvalued. But do keep this in mind that uh, there's a big difference between a short sale and buying a put option. They sound somewhat similar, but one has much more risk exposure than the other does. So if you do have any more questions about this subject, please reach out to me or to your advisor, anyone here at Cutler that can help, and we'd be happy to talk through some specifics. Thanks very much.